Welcome back to the Hour Time Podcast, the podcast for Watch Geeks by Watch Geeks. I'm John Biggs. I'm Victor Marks. I'm Nicholas DeLeon. And uh, this is our video episode. We're going to do this. We're going to do a shorty today because uh, Victor is in Israel still. We're worried that the uh, that the internet will be will be taken over by uh, by uh, the, the the what you call it the inner the Nord Nordwest pipeline. Uh, it'll be cut. It'll be cut because of that. So technical uh, difficulties. Technical difficulties. <laughs> In a so, manner of speaking, I have a huge technical difficulty uh, with the new Rolex stuff. Now, I think that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, I mean, there's a million things. So we yeah, have to, it oh, and Tudor and yeah. yeah. Oh Christ! But well, look, the tut- Tudor's fine. Tudor is fine. A lot of the watches and wonders stuff was normal. The Kermit, Oris Kermit. Do we like the Oris Kermit or not? There, uh, I was watching yesterday was opening day for baseball, and there were Kermit commercials all over the Yankee broadcast. Obviously, Oris is a Yankee sponsor. Oris Kermit, yes, commercials for the Oris Kermit. I swear to God, yes. it's a god, it's a watch with a Kermit head in the date window. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll uh, I'll, f- I'll find a way to share that if it's been published, but yeah, it's like Kermit singing a song or something. No, no, no it's just it's just the first day of the month instead of the one. The first day is just a Kermit, it's a it's frog, green. it's a frog, it's so dumb. But the current, I, they're advertising, baby. I have, we'll I have never dug that Oris bezel. The the bezel on that watch has always oh, felt weird God. to me. I'm cool with the Kermit watch. I'm cool with sticking Kermit in a date window. But but that just felt like. Can I God, pause I very quickly? Better. Where do you guys know where did this come from? And I know we only have like 15 minutes today, but like mm-hmm. where did this idea of like putting like Snoopy and like all these like cute little characters is that like. What is the story there? Do we it's, know? It goes oh, back to Bamford. Bamford started years ago licensing Snoopy and Popeye for stuff. Yeah. And then and there's Omega also, there's picked also up always on been it with the Mickey Mouse. The, you know, well, Mickey yeah, Mouse for a thousand years. Uh, yeah. I mean, Mickey Mouse since the 1930s on the early uh, Lanjane and, and Wittenauer stuff. Um, and there was a Gerard Perigo Mickey. And there, there's all kinds of Mickey Mouse watches. Is it just because it's fun? I'm just like, I don't yeah. understand like, this it's, random... It's, it's totally Cold fun. Lab. There's a bit of a, a callback to your youth kind of thing. Um, well, there's- I think I think it started as a youth as a youth thing. I think what started is like Mickey Mouse was the watch for kids. Then you yeah. put in then you then you had like then you had the '80s watches, which were like little robots and all that other yep, stuff. The and digital and character like, watches and shit. Little like all that all that all that good stuff. It's uh, and then and then now it's become to the, it's come to the point where it's like. Like you have the Mario watch from who was that? Like uh, Romain Jerome, yeah. Romain Jerome, and it was like five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars for a watch. Thirty thousand really? dollars. Yeah, it's what? ridiculous. Yeah, it drives me nuts. And then this this watch is this watch isn't so bad. What was the price on that? The, I mean, the Omega Kermit used watch. to do a Snoopy Kermit, speed, know, uh, Speedmaster because yeah. the Snoopy was associated with NASA. They've always done a, a Snoopy and NASA thing. That made sense, but. This. I think I think this is this is like just this appeals to a certain demographic of it's four point six that's four yeah, four thousand forty six hundred. I, I wrote a, I wrote a song based on a uh, shoot. I just wrote a song based on the Rainbow Connect, Collect Connection uh, for the post. So I was pretty proud of that. that was All right, hard. I don't mind. The, yeah, I I, I don't. I, I kind of like the shade of green as well. Actually, uh, I have n- I have actually no complaints with this watch. I would wear that. Uh, I would wear that. I'm just curious. It's like, what is the what? What's the deal? What's the deal? Started with the, doing with the, it, and then the Undone yeah. took it to a next level, and and Oris is getting in on the fun. I mean, Oris's mascot is the bear, and they picked up this yeah. bear from a community art art project, basically. So they're having a good time with Kermit. They got the license. I don't know. I don't know. I I I was I was kind of. I'm not. I'm not upset by any stretch of imagination. I like Oris. I think they. I think they do a good. Yeah, I think said. they do a good watch. I just think this is a little bit. This is a little bit mercenary to It also feels random. Like, what is the connection yeah. between Kermit and Oris or the Yankees or baseball? Uh, yeah, I and, I and this uh, is their first outing on I something mean, like this. Why are there so many songs about watches? <laughs> like the ones from Oris, mate. <laughs> These watches are sporty, and this one is special. It features Kermit's face in the date. <laughs> Someday we'll find it, the Kermit Collection, the lovers, collectors, and me. Oh, my God. Anyway, okay. Yeah, I know. It was beautiful. Okay, what's this Someday Rolex stuff that we're talking about? Yeah, you, tell you have the Rolex uh, chip on your shoulder this week. I got a Rolex chip on my shoulder. Me too. God. So you got, you, got the, you got the Rolex ball pit, which is the which Rolex. Which one are you going to start with? 
the, the OP, the OP with the balls. You're going to go with the OP. F- okay. So first of all, it's 41 millimeters and it's got the balloons or the ball pit on the dial. Yeah. Right. And what the hell is the ball pit for? Why do they have the ball pit? So I have a theory. And my theory oh, ball is, pit. I was like, what are you guys? Have you yeah, seen they, this? They, yeah, they, yeah. They got like, a bunch of circle, yeah, 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 colored yeah, circles I, on yeah, the yeah. dial. My yes. theory is that you remember La Californienne? La Californienne yeah. was this this uh, group of people in in California who took old Rolexes and repainted the dials funky colors. Yeah, and and resold them, and they got they yeah. got sued into the ground. Rolex <laughs> crushed them in a trademark suit, <laughs> and. Uh, then after that, Rolex released the colored dial OPs, you know, the, the blue, the orange and so on. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think this is just an extension of that. They discovered that someone else was out there selling Rolex watches that were colorful and fun and they weren't getting any money for it. Therefore, now they're going to make colorful, fun watches based on that. But it's, so it's a Tiffany dial. It's a yep. Tiffany, Tiffany blue dial with the little Dunkus, the little balls all over floating yep. all over the place. Cause fun. And it's, they can it's sell still them an oyster. Still an OP, still an oyster perpetual. Move? Am I an idiot? No, they don't. They don't move. They just it's just they're drawn just, on their face. Just painted on. Oh, okay. So that's dumb. And then I, they got, and then the they puzzle got the puzzle watch. one. Yeah. Is, is now is that for Autism Speaks or what is that for? No. So they they did not say anything that I can find about it being in any way related to any autism foundation or charity oh. or or anything. They just put puzzle pieces. And the, and then the, and then they also the uh, and also the the day the day and date like the date is like a little emoji and then the yep. and the date is like a a word or something or the, and the it's, day it's the day of the week is a word ridiculous I, like, I mean yeah, Rolex so has their own foundation they have a foundation that they they support all kinds of different causes health in the oceans um, you know every time Jim Cameron goes down in a sub they support it. Uh, they, they've done clean water projects in Africa. They've, they've done all kinds of cool things that they support as a foundation. There is no reason why they couldn't either support an existing autism foundation or do something on their own because they're big but enough. Instead, they, instead they do, instead they do this, and this thing. They with did. The, they just the, released a puzzle watch. Uh, can oh I God. ask, is puzzle, I, I don't know, is puzzle the like puzzle, an autism the pu- symbol or something? The puzzle piece is associated with autism awareness. Okay. And Autism Speaks yeah, uses a blue puzzle piece, but the multicolored rainbow puzzle pieces are generally just autism awareness. Okay, that is news to me. Yeah, it's it's like it's and, and that's that's immediately what I thought when I saw it. I'm like, so oh, they're that's just trading cool. on this, or they're potentially not trading, they're not trading I mean, anything. It's it's so ham handed that who the hell knows what they're trying to trade on? Yeah, I see. It's super frustrating. I don't. Well, well, who cares? I mean, it's really I, I, no. I get it. I kind of am too, because like, you know, when when you have a kid with autism and and someone does something like that, you're you're sort of aware of what it means and what it is, and you're like, well, yeah. that's why I asked. I was it like, kind of tweaks a, you a little bit. If this is a fairly well known symbol in that community, oh yes, surely Rolex must have someone who would flag that. Like, uh, this is a thing that already has a meaning. Should I mean, we, the, you know, the problem is if they donated to. If they picked a foundation to donate to, Autism Speaks is is sometimes yeah. controversial in that community, to put it mildly, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. So some of these foundations, uh, and, and, and maybe they don't do it anymore, but some of them definitely did it in the past, where they were funding research or potentially trying to find a cure. And it's super offensive to, to some see, people okay. who have autism to be told that they need to be cured. As opposed yeah. to, they need to be understood and accommodated and accepted yeah. into society, and and Autism Speaks has that kind of rep, and I'm I'm being real gentle about it, but they're controversial gotcha. for for a decent number of people, yeah. and and so I guess picking one means offending someone, and Rolex probably doesn't want to offend anyone, and so they've still done this, sure. which then offends everyone. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the way they don't, things Because they don't out. offer anything. They don't offer anything, any help. So I, so the other interesting thing is all these, most of these are exhibition backs. Then they also have the 1908 edition. What's the night? Is that 1908? So they killed they off it? Cellini. You remember Cellini? Yeah, Cellini. Yeah. My, one of my uh, family members has one. That's my, 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 my favorite. Cellini. Yeah, so the, the, the Rolex Cellini was this dressy Rolex. It was, you yeah. know, the, the, even the day date, which is supposedly the dressed Rolex was was always kind of sport watch shaped. The Cellini allowed them to do funky things like put cursive on a dial and go for a weird coin edge bezel and and really just spruce it up. And they killed it and made this 1908 thing. 
and the and 1908 has like a has like a Mercedes, no, oh, kind of like a a ball and stick hand, hour hand, and just like a stick minute hand and a and a sub seconds, and that's it. And it's super boring. Yep. But you know that you know the hype beasts are going to be out there to, to I mean, pick it's, it up. It's a Rolex, and it says Rolex. It doesn't say Cellini. Yeah. Every everything about this everything about this is hype beasty. Ah, this is a real cash grab. Yeah, this is a real, this is a real, this almost associated, I, I associate this, this whole vision, this whole view, this whole line with the same stuff that they did with the, with the swatch, uh, with the, the moon, moon swatch, swatch stuff. Cause they open up people's eyes. They're trying to grab other people. Um, they're trying to grab outsiders to come into this thing. They got the little ball. Everybody loves the Tiffany blue. So they're, it's a real, it's real pandering. And and then they killed the a Milgauss, which was which was popular with the nerds, so they can bring it back yeah. again, like the freaking Nautilus. And that's the, it's such a it's such a it's such a bare faced cash grab that it's kind so of frustrating. T- talk about the Explorer One for just a minute, because that's the one that's interesting to me. So they had they had the uh, the two one four two seven zero the thirty nine millimeter Explorer One. Yeah, and this they is they killed 40 that millimeter. last year to go to thirty six mil and also introduce a steel and gold model. That got killed off this year in favor of the 40, the Explorer yeah. 40. And so it's really weird for me. It's it's like something happened that 36 didn't last. Did it just tank all the sales of Explorer? And they said, oh, crap, we screwed up. But we can't go back to 39 and everyone will know it's a mistake. So we got to go to 40. I guess. I mean, nobody, nobody, who, who wants a, who wants a 36, who wants, A, who wants an Explorer and B, who wants a 36 millimeter Explorer? I will say I have pretty small wrists, as I said many times. 36 <laughs> is, 30, I feel like that's too small, even it's for way me. Too, and I, yeah. 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 I, I, you're, you're, I have a 36 and it does feel slightly on the small side. And yeah. I mean, it's comfortable, but it, it looks dinky on the wrist. Yeah. But 39, 38 was good size. Now, now they got 40. So I don't know what they're thinking is other than they pivoted real fast because they they saw the writing on the wall. It was like when Apple releases the the SE and no one buys it, and it's like it's, it's here one year gone the next type of thing. The, yeah. the one year twelve mini, right? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. The, I, the, there are no more fourteen minis. It's thirteen mini was the last one. I mean, yeah. I'm into the I'm into the GMT Master, whatever, and I, whatever. What, what did they I do could, to the GMT Master? Sum it up. I for think me. they. What did they do? They didn't do anything. Okay. I don't think, I think they, they just, changed think Daytona they, a little bit. Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, They changed the Daytona. They changed the Daytona bezel. I don't, I'm not, I'm looking at they the changed thing. the bezel. The heck, they but. changed the hour markers around the dial and they made the sub dials super skinny. Yeah. They made it. They, they, they goofed it up a little bit. I, I, I looked at a, I looked at a back. I looked like a, a like a side to side and it was like, it, not a big deal. I think they changed in the steel, especially they gave the steel bezel uh, they gave the steel a, like a slightly thicker bezel around the ceramic, mm. uh, the ceramic uh, whatever the the tachometer. Yeah. Yep. So that's slightly slightly different, but I mean, and it's it is a, it's bigger, isn't it? I think it's the same size, isn't it? Did they make it's, the Daytona? Daytona was already kind of a big bulky watch. Yeah, and they've got and they've got a, a display back on these things. So that's a that's yeah. a big deal. They've Dude. they. They've never well, done that. so they never did display backs for the longest time. And one of the ways you could tell a fake was if the fake had a, a display back on it, or you'd, you'd find that people took their old watches and sometimes put Chinese display backs on them just oh, so yeah, they could see course. the Rolex movement. Well, hold on, it looks like it looks like only some of them have display backs. Platinum, yeah. oh god, platinum nine fifty platinum has a transparent case back. Okay, the platinum one. Everything else, oh, the steel one doesn't have a transparent. Oh my god! Right, so if you don't give them enough money, you don't get glass back. Yeah, if you don't, you don't get you don't get glass on the back if it's if you don't give them money. I always thought Rolex had like boring. Uh, I've never owned one of it, but like their movements were not like pretty. Like, I, was that the reputation, or was I? It's fairly. <sighs> I mean, it's it's fairly basic. I mean, if you look I mean, if you look at the okay. photos, there, it's it's just a movement. It's and it's and it's not really well decorated. It's got some Geneva stripes on there, and it's got a little it, bit they, of like, they got some swirl machinery on there. They got they got some yeah. some engine turned machinery on there, but it's not especially elegant it's i mean Nothing omega on the coaxial movement right the, the 9000 series coaxial movements yeah uh, they dress those up and they they finish them pretty nicely and they give it a clear back and you can see them yes yeah, yeah. it looks pretty cool the rolex movement has that balance bridge the balance bridge looks great they've got that rotor and you can see the writing on the the winding bridge through the rotor that's kind of it it's not a lot more special than that. It's a pretty rudimentary movement. 
And, and this has been the case for decades. You know, there was a guy named Walt Odets who used to write uh, for, I forget who. And he wrote about how he bought a 36 uh, millimeter Explorer and took it apart. And Rolex had conniption fits after this article. Oh, because yeah, yeah. He, that was a big deal. Told them how terrible their movement was. Like this, mm-hmm. you're, you're charging for all of this for a watch, and this movement is just basic. <laughs> I'll need a link to the article. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I'm, I'm sure Web Archive, the Internet Archive, has it. Um, okay. It was, it was. It was. He pretty trashed them, and it was a big deal. Like Rolex, who traditionally never says anything, went yes. Well, anyway, uh, we're super angry at the world, and uh, and and now we're on video, so we look. We can you can see us be angry. You can see how I gesticulate. How how I how horror. So this is the guy I got. I got my. Uh, I got the. What are you wearing the, there? That's the speed. The, oh, the speed. The speed master Fancy. on. What are nice. we wearing, gentlemen? Well, so I, uh, I I am wearing the I want to be John watch. Okay. Yeah. But it's I the, also brought along the uh, what Rolex should have introduced. Oh. Which is it's horrible, a, as you can see by John's expression. I can, well, I can barely see it because your, your okay. video is a little bit rough. I'm, I'm going to assume that that's not a real Rolex, and I'm also no, 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 God, this is this is the finest around. thing that fifty-five dollars can buy you on AliExpress. Oh, nice! That it works. is a Seiko VK movement, it, which is totally cromulent. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a ceramic bezel. It's a sapphire crystal. So for fifty-five bucks, it's hard to complain. It is a. It's got a. It's got a, a, a chronograph movement, or is that? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's, it's a mecha quartz. Oh, more uh, mecha quartz. All right, I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Yeah. I'll allow it. All right. And what do you got on there, Nicholas? I have uh, a king turtle. Oh, look at that. Look yeah. At you. Yeah. yeah. You can't You're see the it. Turtle. There's You're the turtle. We're all, we're all drooling over we this. See we see it. <laughs> the turtle. This has been the Hour Time Podcast. Uh, we're going to do a longer one when Victor gets back and we can make sure that the network doesn't go down. But I'm John Biggs. I'm Victor Marks. I'm Nicholas DeLeon. We shall see you next week. Thank you for listening to The Hour Time Show, the official podcast of wristwatchreview.com. Feel free to email us at tips at wristwatchreview.com with your feedback and suggestions. And please be sure to visit wristwatchreview.com and wristwatchreview on Instagram for more fun watch content. Have a nice day.